now a mission for you. The turbulent seas of 2011 have seen three Arab dictators dunked beneath the waters. Can others cling to the shelter of an old order in 2012? Well, the Arab Spring has arguably been the defining news story of the year. And as this remarkable year draws to a close, we are asking who you think changed the world the most. Details of how to take part in a moment. First, though, here is the view of our international editor, Lindsay Hilson. I think Tawakul Khaman changed the world in 2011. <laughs> Who would have thought that Yemen, one of the most conservative Islamic states in the Middle East, would throw up one of the most important and influential female leaders? And she's only 33. <laughs> she went out on the streets campaigning for change and said that women shouldn't be marginalised, shouldn't be sidelined. And thousands of other women in Yemen came with her. And then they inspired women across the Arab world. Trust on women, trust on youth, and trust on the future. Don't be afraid. We don't know where it's going to end. We don't know whether women are going to be able to keep hold of those gains that they've made. But she certainly has put that on the agenda. And more than that, she's been recognised. She was one of three women who was given the Nobel Peace Prize this year. She's the youngest person ever to get it. She's my nomination. That's Lindsay Hilson view. What's yours? You can tell us on our live blog and vote for the person or the movement you think had the most impact on the world in 2011. Just go to our website at channel4.com news.